I don't know what else they say. Generally, generally by the time that they, uh... I've already gotten their message out of the way. I finally realized that someone was talking on the comms and... Yeah. Yeah, they always talk about the weather at the destination and stuff. Yeah. Bafflement and vexation. <laughs> Trash talk the ones in economy class. Yeah. Call out the pores. I have literally never flown anything but... Oh, but anyways, anyway, anyway. anyway. <laughs> Calling out the pores, like myself. Bob. A simple variable. Easily resolved. Yo, the Tango T. Thank you so much. He dances the Tango with T. I think that's beautiful. Double assistance encounter over there. I think I'm gonna do that. I get an extra candle. We'll take a left. Or middle. My wealth and possessions. Locos Jet only has economy seeds. Yeah, pile. yeah. It's embarrassing, mate. The destinations never in Despite the lack of stress healing, this party is doing decently well. To get there. Like we just kill pretty fast, that helps. Up ahead, the seat of our regrettable research. Do -do -do. Okay. What what is different though? This run, like I I've completed the final boss once. Other than a couple of voice lines and a different name I selected at the very beginning, I don't think there's anything new. I'm pretty sure the only thing that new is probably the final boss. So what I have to do is spend three hours going to the final boss. And then figure out what he does. And then hopefully, if I don't die on the process there, I can see what the abilities are. And then I can actually try and kill him the next time around. So I have to, str like, it, 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 I don't know. I don't feel as accomplished in this game as I did in Darkest Dungeon 1. Might be my problem, but... Yeah, yeah, it, it, they tried being more of a roguelike, but it, like, it's like a very slow roguelike. There's new terrains in the zone as well, Loco. Okay. So I'm playing the stable version of the game. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. In crisis, yeah, but it, I think it would be more interesting, though, if you don't take, like, such a long time getting to the very end. Like, the very end takes forever. And, like, this constant... I don't know. You guys know my dislike of inventory management in games, but, like, you have to constantly fucking manage your inventory in this game. And which is kind of annoying. Into I mean, that's also part of the first game, I guess. But that's one of the mods I ended up installing on my second playthrough, man. Like, I, I just... I don't like the constant... The constant fucking... Managing of the inventory. Ooh. Alright, Vel, do it. Nice. Amidst the spoils... An artifact of a corrupted ball power. Okay, that's really fucking powerful. Um, on a character that doesn't get hit much, I think that's gonna be pretty sweet. So simple. Choice. Oh yeah, I'm sure that we'll have mods for At that sort of thing. Should be. Why do I have to touch everything? You're just, you know, we have specialities though, and you're the one that can do a lot of self-healing. 
Plus, you're really good at touching things. Okay. Um, give Val a little bit of milk. So, he has a good chance right now to... Yeah, dude, that trinket is insanely powerful. Woo. Bomb. Okay, Leper's pretty sick. I don't think I need to run both the Highwayman no and the Grave Robber, though. I don't think that's really worth... Like, they kind of serve very similar functions. I could probably run a man at arms or something. Um, maybe a jester. That would probably make for a pretty good party. There's no cleric in this game. No, there's also no like they've 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 done away with all the very obvious character roles. So, there's not a healer, and a tank, and a damage dealer. In Maybe they'll world, plan on adding those, but I think if they do, they'll probably give them, like, purpose. less global abilities. Man at Arms is the most useful in all party combinations. I honestly think the Plague Doctor is the best overall. Plague Doctor seems S-tier. Just really strong overall at basically everything. You're still alive, Locomuni. Hell yeah, dude. We're gonna retire this party at the next inn, so... Only 35 leagues to go. Nearly there, dude. Well, don't cheer just yet, okay? Your coach is laden. You, you can, can carry, carry no more. more. I gotta get over there. Well, I mean, I don't really have to, but... Valarnin really wants to go there, so... Oh no, wait, Valarnin wanted to go the other way. That's okay. I like this game though. Desperate it's fun, but and wanting. Will you rip off their earnest pleas? I would like a little bit more fun. Tried and tested. <laughs> a to be a little terrible. bit more enjoyment would be sweet. That doesn't sound like I'm having fun, does it? Like, why the fuck does the bread and the sh like? Why does all of this stack to two? Why do I have to just fucking ah? Drives me nuts, man. Half the time I'm spending managing my inventory because the fucking car can't drive. Like, why can I not set certain items up to be, I never want this, over the number four? It'd be really nice if I could set a maximum of, like, food that I want to get during this particular run to this number. Yeah, why, why is there no auto stacking or, like, you know, a little bit more... You can get a larger inventory, but you only gain like two more slots. But, like, for those of you unfamiliar, I complain about inventory storage in literally every game I play that has inventory storage. So, you know. Take everything I say with a grain of salt, but. I've never had a game where I'm like, ooh, inventory storage. Hell yeah, I love it. I wish I could spend hours. Jeez, dude, that, that trinket is nuts. So apply on hit and it it like he has a big AoE hit that heals that hits everything. Super pop like ridiculous. Oh. I did complain about it in Warcraft 3, yes. In Warcraft 3, you could only have a fucking hotkey to things in the original game to numpad. 
But I have a keyboard and I've been running a keyboard without numpad for years. So I could literally not hotkey my inventory without like a modifier thing. So yes, I did complain about it in Warcraft 3 as well. <laughs> Sounds like a you problem, Loco. Yes, yes. <laughs> So maybe get yeah no get with the times get a numpad steady yourself get a real keyboard <laughs> bad game can't play it on a ps5 controller exactly a promising development a promising development More burns and blights and shit. Dude, that trinket is nuts! I kinda wanna continue the party. Like, that trinket is so ridiculously powerful. If I can guarantee... Like, I wish I could lock in one trinket. That would be so fun. If I could, like, lock in this trinket for next round, and then I start with it in my inventory again, that would be so fun, right? Imagine I could, like, find something that I really like, but I'm not quite running the party setup for it just right now. It'd be really cool if I could lock one in for the next round. Yo, Noble Gecko. Low drink. Does anyone remember rotary numpads? I love the using the number zero. Really tedious to work on an Excel spreadsheet, Abandoned but. Or forgotten. It is ours now. Well worth it. <sighs> Thank you very much, Noble. Loco, this is for you. What is this? Oh, you can build your own numpad? I have, I have not... I don't know. I haven't quite reached this level of nerd yet where I'm building my own custom keyboard, but I am intrigued. Building your own numpad seems kind of fun, man. That's that was one sexy looking numpad. Look at that. <laughs> it's hundred and ten dollars. Hell yeah, man. Well worth. And then I, uh, you know, I would have to wait like three months before it arrives in the Netherlands, and then I have to pay like fifty bucks import. <laughs> You just bought two? Nice. No, I don't really need a numpad, guys. I'm good, man. Thanks, though. I like not having a numpad. I actually think having no numpad is better in pretty much every, like, gaming scenario. Cheer up, buttercup. All right, Valarnin. Jeez, dude. Except Warcraft, yes. Numpad is really useful when doing accounting for my 69 bank accounts. I found the person from Switzerland in the chat. Most people ha don't have that many, dude. Big keyboard with a numpad. All right, uh, weird, weird flex, Megatsu, but fair enough. I think you're just compensating with your big keyboard.
Bit of a tricky fight, though. I do real adult work, Loco, that requires numpads. I understand, dude. A breakthrough. I only do fake work. He does a lot of adult work, is what he says. I don't know, man. I didn't realize they used up much Excel when shooting porn. But anyways. Ow. Bomb. What's up, upper tree? Upper tree, are you a are you a, a numpad? fan personally I am a 10 kilos or smaller connoisseur you know absolutely not there it is dude a slow dissection. there's two of us up a tree it's you and me everybody else here loves numpad 75% the dream I don't know what 75% exactly is I've got one of these with like, without the space over here between the F keys and the one key. I have accidentally canceled my hatchery many times because I tried hitting F1 and F2 and then I think, anyways, I'm not proud of that part, but I think that this is in general. That's 75%. Oh my God, dude. That's where it's at, for sure. That's because we have real jobs, Loco. Right. Me and Upper Tree don't have real jobs. People with real jobs need real numpad. And now, Ooh. the greatest test of all. What's up, buddy? Thank you. We should do a typing test challenge. Full keyboard versus 10 keys. We will convert you somehow. Wait, how would this be better? I can almost guarantee I can type faster, Sysadmin. Is this not how we're gonna determine it? I don't know. Unless we're talking numbers, okay? If we're talking numbers, I'm not as quick. <laughs> Thank you for the 28. Okay, we're gonna retire this party. Finish him! This is the keyboard you have. A bare bones 75% DIY kit. See, I, I'm not quite at this level yet. Free bonus? No thanks. No thanks, I'm good. It's the last keyboard you ever own. Everybody knows that the guys that buy these bare bones, $219, you know, whatever, built your own keyboard. That's definitely not their last keyboard. We all know that. 100% we all know that this is, this is not their last keyboard. <laughs> they probably have like seven. Okay, we're gonna retire this party. I don't want to, but I think I have to, because my party's starting to fall apart. At to be last, fair, building your own keyboard sounds kind of fun. Reach. It's a gateway keyboard, yeah, yeah. Upper Tree is committed, though, to the keyboard situation, man. I never even thought of having a dedicated microphone just for my keyboard. But now with this audio interface, I can. Lower your guard. Soften your gaze. It is safe here. Can anyone explain to me when to retire a party versus when to continue? If you can make it to the next inn, it's usually better. But if you die on the way there, you... Um, you lose half your candles. And the candles are ultimately... Do I literally have one? 
Anyways, um, if you end it early, you get more candles and you can do more stuff. I don't think this party is particularly good, but we actually made it quite far, which is nice. I'm gonna collect hope. Yes. I actually want to do. I want to do a Twitch chat poll real quick. Your sanctum. Adrift in this. By two minutes. How many nightmare. followers already died in this run? What the fuck is this? This is. We're gonna play some God of War in a little bit, okay? But not. Anyways, what's up, Dima? Thank you for the 61. I appreciate you. Um, new poll. Numpad. Yes. No. I don't feel strongly about... About... Okay, yes, there you go. Let's see, guys. I'm excited. Okay. To be fair, this is not entirely... This is... This is not your average gamer population, man. I feel like 80% of my viewers are engineers, IT, accountants. Like, it's... I'll be hard-pressed to find an accountant that doesn't have a numpad, you know? At least I wouldn't want to hire that accountant. It's probably not a good idea. All right, all right, all right. Numpads suck. <laughs> numpad is my life, Elixir. All right, man. It's very useful for anything non-gaming. Is it though? <laughs> I don't know if it is, man. Okay, we're gonna do another run. Let us drag your agglutinated indignities out into the light. My agglutinated indignities? What the fuck are you saying, dude? That's not nice. We had managed to grasp a thread of connective worship that stretched across vast gulfs of time and tribe. But we did not understand it. <sighs> I'm gonna complain about the game the again. Roads, I've complained about this thing before, but it's annoying, okay? If I want to run the same party again, why do I have to set up their exact and abilities as I had science, last run? It shouldn't take that much time, but I always spent, like... A minute or two double checking of whether or not I've got everything set up the way I want it, which is really annoying. I don't like it. Just let me save presets on every character. That'd be really good. I'd like that. Anyways, um, I'm gonna need to run a man at arms, I think. Pride, more devastating than the horrors of a hundred campaigns. Maybe not. Maybe I can get away with a jester. Jester has inspiring tune. Which gets rid of stress, which is kind of nice. Don't know if it's that great, but... Thank you very much, bunny. I don't know that word. Am I a real Englisher? I thought you were an American, though. This is pretty nice, though. So, Jester, together with a murderous melody Leper, lingers. should work, Long because Chuck only... Chord has been struck. Yeah, so he ignores Blind when his target is... ...marked. So I think I can set it up like that, and it should do. I think it should do quite well. I don't really want him moving around, though. Slice off is nice, I guess. Battle Ballot. Don't care. Okay, this can do the same thing. This is also forward now. I don't really want it moving forward. Can I just set anything up to not be moving around? Okay, I guess I can do this in case I want to, like, move back or something. We have one defensive ability.
Each ally on turn start, 100% horror resist or stress resist. This is kind of nice. Yeah, Virtuoso, there you go. So for him, I've got a bunch of new abilities now. I don't know if I like any of them, but... Break is pretty good. I don't really need reflection, but I'll keep it on my action bar. So Chop becomes 33% more powerful. 100% sickness resist. That's kind of nice. Self-healing skills. No, no, no. We'll do Tempest. Poet. No, no, no. Okay. So then I just need one more character to fill in this final slot. I think the Grave Robber is probably better overall. Unseen into the catacombs of the mind. I could also go to Cultist. The abyss. One must embrace it. Occultist was actually really powerful with, um, yeah, with the Abyssal Artillery. He deals a lot of damage. Sacrificial Stab is also pretty good. I like Demon's Pool. This is also powerful, but I can't use it from the first spot. I can give crit to something else. Okay. I think I'm ready. Four names. Who wants to be sacrificed for the greater good? Preferably someone who hasn't already been named. Thornia, you will be the leper. Congratulations, dude. I don't know if that is really a congratulations, but... I volunteer. Mr. Steel Yo Beef, your B. Why is anyways? I don't know why you're stealing bees, but it's okay. You're a jester after all. Pretty funny. Me? What's up, Rendover? You are now an occultist. Congratulations. Shredder. I liked you in the Ninja Turtles, dude. Frau Dr. Merkel, danke bitte. When you are ready, this rutted roadway will finally take you home. Rutted roadway, finally take me home. You must remember to the end. If you hope I to belong. save it. Ooh. Were these floating already last time? I don't remember that. Why are they floating? Spare a thought for tools of iron. Such implements will serve us well. Rotted road. Okay, no, 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 no. Increases loot from running over road debris. The problem with these, though, is that people keep telling me I look like a, d a drunk driver and I can't ride the car. So, like... Yeah. This is just giving me more junk. 39! 39. 39 fucking candles for one stagecoach equipment slot. Okay, fine. There you go. Is this game still in beta? Yep. Sanctuary. As fleeting as a dying star. No, you can set everything up, Mirkets. 
So one really pointless thing you can do with this audio interface. I've already shown this, but you can change. You can change the pitch shift as you're going about it. So this is my actual, like this is my voice. I could lower it a little bit though. And most people probably wouldn't notice that much. <laughs> is this really my real voice though, or am I actually just cheating the system all this time? You never really know. It's weird, right? Anyways. I thought you're, yeah, yeah. I've actually been using a voice changer all these years. It's been modulated for a long time. No. Sorry that you guys had to find out this way. <sighs> I actually have a VTuber voice. Yeah, yeah. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. <laughs> he chatters incoherently. No, no. But his prices remain fixed. Um, I want to have a cool trinket. Why do you only sell shitty trinkets? I want a cool trinket. Like one of the cool ones I found in the previous game. That would be really nice, mate. I would love that. I'll get the shrine map. You're gonna have nightmares about that? Deep voice and Dutch? Comforts are exhausted. Ahead, only trial and tribulation. You see, even your valley is not immune to the spreading stain. My valley? The hell are you talking about, dude? So he gets empowered when he gets, yeah, it's the combo. I see. Desperate grab. When I walk through the valley of... Okay, go, get him. Go, 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 go. Adrenaline Ash? I'm familiar Are with Ash shaken? Ketchum from Palatown, but... There is so much worse in store. What do you do when your 11-year-old son comes up to you and he says, You know what I want to do? I want to enslave animals into little balls and I want to go the have them fight other animals that are also enslaved body. in little balls. And then I want to go more, fight perhaps, adult people that have the rest the these stones. gyms that have a lot of, you know, really strong animals enslaved in the balls. Do you say, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Go have fun. What you can. Or do you send them uh, to a place where they can meaning. get help? If indeed it ever did. You would say, go catch them all. You're a better person than me, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, <laughs> I don't think I can do that. You would give them a new pair of shoes? Okay. I think these are things you have to prepare yourselves for. The next stop is leagues away. Plan accordingly. Avoid the hoarder. The barnacled timbers of the coastal villages are sodden with salt and secrets. 
the shroud. I don't like the shroud. Propriety floats listless on the tide. Okay. Brined in noxious degradation. We don't have to brine anything in noxious, noxious degradation. We'll be fine. Yeah, the story of Pokemon really is kind of weird. Thornia, Velarn in 2.0. Let's see. Chapter three. Treason. Treason. Which Pokemon are okay to eat? That's a good question, actually. Like, there's a couple of obvious answers that are not okay. Like, Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime, if you start, like, that's fucked up, dude. Magikarp, however, I feel like Magikarp would be quite delicious. Yeah. I'm not sure. Sedition, <laughs> like any illness, spreads slowly. Rotten with a cynical opportunism born of long-standing entitlement, the scheming circle of advisors drafted mutinous plans. Though bedridden, he had long since divined their intent and feared the disastrous results of their would-be rule. Summoning his blacksmith and his strength, he hoisted his blade and rose to meet the coming threat. Intimidate. Self-taunt. Okay, that's pretty good. I like that. Most people lift their blades, but um, the leper hoists it. I think that's quite nice. Um, gotta avoid the hoarder, but I don't really want to take all the... of the inevitable is futility itself. This Dost no thou even hoist? Decent folk. <laughs> Bro, dost thou even hoist? Make the cannon bleed! Oh, we can't. Okay. We can mark him as a target now. After this run, I'm going to play some God of War Ragnarok. Ragnarok. What they say in uh, Sweden, I think. Ragnarok. Hello. Oh. Woo! I love the spinning that this guy does. It's fantastic. Knäckebröt. Ragnarok. You're saying the first A weird? Rock, rock, no rock. Is that better? Jokelska, rock, no rock. Anxiety oh. for insidious Big hits. Oh, it makes him go forward. You, uh, poor. I think you probably can't, right? It's okay. <sighs> it's more of an A. Oh my god, I don't know. Pro uh, explaining pronunciations over Twitch chat is impossible.
final round. I don't think I can kill him in time, can I? Oh, I can't, I can't. The power up is pretty good. An unexpected find. I think we're coming up to the point where I'm mostly done with the darkest dungeon too, guys. I just find myself getting a little tired of it. It is incredibly repetitive. Let us hope. I think there's another final boss at the end of the run now that I've killed the first final boss at the end of the run, but I don't know if I'm ready to commit like three hours to find out. And be off once more. Yeah, yeah, it becomes more of a chore. I mean, it's still fun. I'm still enjoying it, but it's like, I know this boss is a pain in the dick, the one in this area, so there's no point in me being here, but I wanted to get the extra reward and like, I, I don't know. I hope I can like continue with this save Perhaps when they come up with the final version of the game. Asked. But new subscriber detected. Happy Harpy Harvey. Four years. Thank you very much, dude. If I could see a huge round of hearts in the chat. For Happy Harpy. Thank you, dude. Hope you're doing all right. Or claps. You can do claps. That works. Front mortar and vexation. How would you compare it to the first game in terms of variety and enjoyment? Two years, baby. Yo, shotgun season. Thank you as well, man. Another round of clappers. I agree. Thank you, dude. Um, I think the first game, the first game, oh, the first game, um, I like the city building in the first game a lot. You know how, like, you build up your little town in the first game, and that's kind of like your roguelike aspect? I think the first game does that really well. I like the city building, it's fun. How you commit your resources and stuff, and, like, you start off with a small little town, and then, like, eventually it's quite cool, it's quite big. Um, what I don't like in the first game so much is how, like, I've got a love-hate relationship with this. In the first game, you're committing hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours into one character. And then it can randomly die to RNG. And that sucks ass. You will never lose 10 hours of progress in this game because the rounds are just different. Hey, dude. They don't last that long. Jam. That was good on me, homie. Yeah, this is also a forward one. Yeah. So the back one I have on this guy is actually not really useful from that position. But that was kind of, yeah, exactly. That was the point of Darkest Dungeon 1, where they kind of made you commit to characters and you had to like, you know, spread out your risks and stuff. And that's like a lot of the enjoyment of the game. Um, so I've got a, like I said, I liked it when it worked well in my favor. The work continues. I didn't like it so much when I lost characters that I spent a ton of time on. This game has like a little bit less of that, but I kind of wish they kind of met each other halfway, you know? I, I kind of miss the town building in this game. In this game, I don't know, it feels like... a little too much repetition. Like the first game is also very rep uh, very repetitive though. But maybe you're not supposed to play like six hours of this game at a time. <laughs> that might also be part of it. And there's like a couple of quality of life things that I think they should do a better job. Oh. 
Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, the music is excellent. The animations are fantastic. I love the art style and the feel and the narrator and everything. It's all very good. I do feel maybe that's also because of the commitment, though, in the first game. In the first game, I felt a lot more this accomplished getting stuff done, if that makes directed. sense. In this game, I don't really feel the need to do that second boss after all these hours, if that makes sense. Excellent work. Yeah, I would like there to be like some sort of auto-equip system or like a better inventory management type of thing or, you know, like saving preset builds at the beginning of every run would be really nice. I feel like the whole section before the very first inn is kind of pointless. Just send me to the very first inn right away. Just send me to the very first inn right away with the points to spend and like, I don't know, give that store a little bit more inventory or something. Like it was fun the first three times you went there, but like... Uh... It takes like 10 minutes to get a run going, and I feel like that could be like 30 seconds instead. Abandoned or forgotten. It is ours now. So there's a couple of a couple of things. The loathing festers. Oh, I remember that one, Don. I haven't played it yet, but I've got it on my wish list. So overall, this game is excellent. In its basis, it's excellent. And I hope they can continue working like on it as well. But if it's supposed to come out in like a month or two... Uh, a little bit more than that. Anyways, if it's supposed to come out in like three months, they can definitely still uh, dot their eyes and cross their T's and get some more, you know, quality of life improvements that I think would make the game quite a bit more enjoyable. Steal yourself. The hulking horror inside. From what I understand, they also, like, are adding new zones to it, too. So I guess that means more bosses and everything. I kind of like that in the first game, by the way. Like, in the first game, you had a lot of bosses to work on. A slow dissection. In this game, you have a bunch of bosses, but, like, none of them really matter. You can get some cool upgrades, but some of them are really strong. Like, the boss in this area is, is absolutely terrifying. I could try and kill the fucking fish. But I do have a lot of faith. Yeah, exactly. I do have a lot of faith in the modders that will probably put together some awesome stuff for this game. Because I can imagine they're going to come up with some really creative solutions to some of the things that I'm complaining about right now. But the game is not on Steam yet. It's only on Epic. Oh, and on Epic, speaking of Epic, it's very slow to, ro uh, to, to load. I've mentioned that a couple times already. It's very slow to load the game. I mean epic games, epic. It's not very epic at all. Yeah, you kind of miss the overarching progress a little bit. Yeah. And as a new player, it wasn't entirely clear how I was supposed to progress in this game. Like, I didn't quite understand what my overall goal was. I figured it out eventually, obviously, but... I do like the hero designs a lot. I think the hero designs are excellent. The way that everything is set up and... The fact that there's no one literally, like, in one category so much. But it almost feels like the first 30 hours of gameplay are a bit of a drag. But that's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot of hours. 